Phantom Motor Fit Adam channel. Uh, right now I'm going to introduce you five, uh, 50cc scooter and I will indicate you guys more about the technical specs of this scooter and also I'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages pros and cons of this scooter against motorcycles. So let's start you guys. So right now this scooter is 50cc scooter, okay? It got one cylinder, four stroke and air cooled system on it. And the maximum, uh, you know, the top speed of the scooter is around 35 miles per hour, uh, which is like for, uh, in Euro terms, 45 kilometers per hour is the top, top speed of this motorbike. And when I get on the motorbike, I will explain you guys advantages as i told you guys pros and cons of this of this scooter and right now the other thing is you know the consumption is we are talking about the consumption of motorbikes is they are consuming so much oil but this is user friendly so per 100 kilometers it consumes around 3.5 uh, liters uh, oil maximum and also this is really good advantages of this bike uh, for the city traffic I will also indicate you guys but as the top speed is low uh, you may not able to drive safely so uh, this bike is more about like you know traveling uh, low kilometers but I did 100 kilometers and I didn't have any problem on this scooter so I uh, advise you guys you know, if you have, if you own a motorcycle, please also own a scooter, which is really advantages in the city traffic. So, uh, you guys, uh, the other uh, technical spec of this scooter is I'm gonna display you right now. Uh, okay, let's start. This uh, motorbike also can do, uh, you know. Um, Horsepower is around 10, so it's not a big horsepower on it. It doesn't have so much horsepower, but uh, it's a powerful bike. Uh, you know, I explain you guys more about the oil consumption. Now I'm gonna show you guys more uh, the details of this scooter. What uh, kind of things can you do on scooter? Like how you gonna ride it? How you gonna use it? I'm gonna show you guys. And also I will show the features of this motorbike in detail let's start first of all this is the indicator section of the scooter all right as you can see you can see the oil level in here it just rise kilometers per hour and also it just rise mph which is miles per hour in states so the maximum speed of this Allegro as I told you guys this is a Turkish brand Motoram made this uh, scooter it's called Allegro and also they are exporting uh, all over the continents in the world so it's a good brand uh, it's like Vespa but it's a low budget so it's a Turkish made but all the import uh, items are coming from China or other countries so it's not 100 percent Turkish made just the assembling is taking place in Turkey in the factory okay so all right so uh, you know this is the kilometer section how much kilometers that I did so far this is like the MPH you can also see is a miles per hour in states and this is the fuel consumption this is the low beam high beam stuff uh, you know when you press this it is a low beam when you press this this is a high beam and you can see it on the signals of the indicator this is a high beam section of the bike these are the signals as you can see and this is also signals and this in the middle section is the emergency signal this is left this is right and this is the horn as you can see and these are the mirrors of the scooter and you guys this is a switch kill switch on switch off button and this is a switch key button as well when you press the switch button with front brake and also when you just rotate it to the on part uh, you know automatically 
you, your motorbike will start easy like this it's just gonna start automatically as I'm gonna show you guys the front section of the motorbike as well this looking like a Vespa right so these are the signal section the right and the left part of the scooter this is the front tire front wheel sorry not tire so um, you know you can it got so many big space you can open up and see the space as I as I'm gonna show you guys I put my mobile phone my water you cannot do this in your motorcycle you cannot put that much stuff on your motorcycle it doesn't have that much space so if you go to grocery or market you can put all your stuff inside it but I try putting my helmet it didn't work I cannot put my hammer in it so this is the oil uh, you know oil section uh, oil tank you can just fill your oil from here and as I'm closing it again you can put some kind of bag for uh, of this section is designed for uh, you know assembling your bag on the back section of the mo of the scooter and this reflects in the night time uh, visually cars can see you and this is the back light not Sorry. beam so this is the exhaust of the scooter and also you can see the oil level uh, indicator item over here when you just rotate it you can see the oil level of the scooter and this is the air cooling section as I told you guys four stroke one cylinder and air cooled scooter but uh, you know the most important point is a uh, you know the oil filter so you can check your oil level by uh, you know removing this item from your scooter it shouldn't be low it shouldn't be high it should be in the middle but middle high is also advantages just rotate it and rotate it back backwards and forward so you know uh, guys right now i'm gonna get on the bike and also tell you a much more detail of you know um, advantages and disadvantages of the scooter against motorcycle and also how is the pros and cons in the traffic while you are driving your scooter i'm gonna show you guys i'll tell more you guys about these things about these specs first of all first thing first you know scooters got so many advantages like for the oil consumption uh, you know for marketing and stuff you know if you hear so many stuff from the market scooters are the best solution for your uh, market uh, like if you buy so many stuff if you are thinking how I, I'm gonna carry this in your motorcycle it's really hard I got many space I uh, waiting for you guys first of all uh, secondly oil consumption for the oil consumption uh, please prefer uh, scooters because it's really it's really uh, user friendly if you uh, as I indicate you guys uh, for the marketing and stuff scooters are really good uh, secondly oil consumption per 100 kilometers my bike is 50 cc single cylinder four stroke and uh, air cold engine it got on it and also for 100 kilometer it only consumes three three liters so it's nothing you guys so it's really user friendly if you are uh, like a high school guy have so much budget I advise you guys to buy a scooter okay so it's a good option uh, so uh, you know once you buy it you're gonna addict it to it you can carry it like big bottles like water bottles you know um, and also like uh, you can carry so many items and uh, you know as you are not speeding so much you know your limits you know but when i get on my motorcycle when i speed up i kind of you know 
forget uh, how much I'm making. But on this uh, scooter, you know, you know your limits. So if you are like uh, over speeding, you you cannot able to over speed because uh, it's it got a fixed speed. It's like a 50 kilometers per hour for my scooter, but for uh, miles per hour, it's like 35. So uh, I strongly recommend you guys to buy a scooter uh, instead of a motorcycle uh, for the very first time beginners. Also, uh, if you are a pro as well, buy a scooter. Uh, because, you know, uh, I own a motorcycle and I own a scooter. So both are the same terms, you know. Uh, but, you know, when I go to a market, if you are not using my car, I'm using my scooter. It really has me a lot, you know. I can carry so many stuff in it. Underneath my seat, I can carry so many stuff. So it's got really advantages. And also, uh, for the speeding, it got disadvantages because in the city, so many people are accelerating so much. Like, they are driving uh, top speed like 100 kilometers per hour, which is like uh, 50, 60 miles per hour, you know. It's too much. You cannot compete with them. But if you got a really nice uh, 80cc scooter, you can compete with them or 100cc scooters you can compete with them so i don't really recommend you guys to drive this uh, scooter in uh, in city so much uh, be careful drive it uh, like uh, you know drive it in the empty roads you know try to try to enjoy your scooter but uh, if you are planning to drive it to your uh, work or uh, you know in the morning rush or uh, in the evening rush I do not prefer you guys to use a scooter so if it got like an empty road drive this drive this item it's safe but you know for the for the work late night uh, evening or morning rush do not prefer to use scooter but if you got high CC scooters like 100 CC and it is making like uh, 100 kilometers per hour or something like that, uh, I advise you guys to use a scooter. Okay, you guys. And apart from this, uh, you know the maintenance, uh, like per uh, like the first maintenance is thousand uh, kilometers, and then. Second maintenance is 5,000 kilometers, and then the third, uh, the third maintenance is like 10,000, and it go, uh, it goes on like per 5,000 kilometers it goes on. So uh, you guys, um, you know, uh, and also the maintenance fee is uh, is not that much. It's like a low budget maintenance uh, thing on it. So. Uh, you know, if you got a little budget and if you are a beginner rider, also even if you are a professional rider, like using so many motorcycles and, uh, you know, some people are thinking that, uh, you know, scooters are for lanes, you know, scooters are for idiots, like, you know, for beginner riders, but no, it's not about that, we are carrying items. Uh, you know, uh, for a short distances, we are going really uh, quickly and also like on time, you know. Uh, and also for the oil consumption and everything and stuff. We got so many much more advantages uh, apart from the motorcycles. And also, uh, the other thing is like taxes, you know. Uh, if you own a scooter, your tax will be so low. Uh, so you are not gonna have so much tax. Uh, it will be a small tax, uh, you know. Small taxes. Uh, in in my country, it is like that, and also in other countries as well. Uh, it got little uh, budget taxes. So 
I prefer you guys, I advise you guys strongly, recommend you guys to buy a scooter and also a motorcycle. Buy them, uh, buy them all and uh, you know this is also the second advantage is automatic. It's, like, it's not a manual gear. So it's a automatic gear. Just gas, brake, that's it. Front brake, back brake, rear tire brake, front tire brake and also uh, the gas that's it it's like automatic you know uh, automatic gear you, you are just using these three things and also following the traffic but all the rules all the regulations are apply the same for motorcycle you know uh, cornering uh, you cannot need drag on this <laughs> so uh, you know cornering uh, you know, using uh, music on the traffic, everything applies on this thing. Okay, so I strongly recommend you guys to buy scooters, and I hope you like the comparison between motorcycle and also scooter. I hope you enjoy my video and. Um, Thanks for watching this, thumbs up and also please subscribe my channel. Have a nice day you guys. Thank you.